Yo, what is up? My people bring you guys part two of this. End up got the peach and daisy. So that way you guys can become freaking savages. <laughs> anyway, um So the first video we talked about the mentality you should have, which is being patient. How what what kind of character Peach and Daisy are, how they should play, it, and their moveset. Now we're gonna get into the knit and gritty, gritty of the uh, of these characters. This will either make you or break you. Okay? The Nutri game. How to play Nutri with these characters. Now, I'm just gonna give you a simplistic meaning of the Nutri game for fighting games, okay? I'm not gonna do anything complicated because some people, this is their first competitive Smash slash fighting game. So, me going into the advanced terms of it, it it'll be um it might be overwhelming. Might be like, you know, you're in high school or junior high and we're talking about freaking calculus and shit. I'm like, wait, what? Unless Japan maybe maybe in Japan, like freaking junior high high school, they're talking about calculus, not even college. It's um well anyway. Sim simplest definition I'll give you a Nucci game. Nucci game is like chess, okay? Like chess and checkers. You got the same amount of pieces on the board. You both start off at the same distance on, on, on the board. Anything you can do, your opponent can do. And your goal is to try to take more pieces from your opponent. The safest way. The same moves he can make, you can make. Alright? That's why it's neutral. Even 50-50. You're trying to do something to a point where it sets your opponent up, trick them, act like you're going to go for a setup, and then you change at the last minute. Catch them all guard, and then you just start ki kill killing their army. You know what I'm saying? So that that's basically the most simplest way to uh, to describe neutral in this. All right? Nobody really has the advantage. You're both trying to create an advantage for yourself, and the way you do that is by movement, using some of your good movement options, some of your good tools. Like in um, Daisy's case, the way I would play the neutral. When I say Daisy, I this counts for peace too, but Daisy's not on the screen, so we're gonna go Daisy. Y'all already know. So in Daisy's case, play neutral with her. What I like to do is one, I like to grab one of these things, right? I like to grab freaking turn. And what I do is I move. So in case the opponent tries to come at me at a safe distance, I can move out the way. So let's say when Ninja came at me, I move out the way. Boop. Then I just catch it. And you know, you're 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 good. Alright. At the same time, space moves. I like to do nares. So in case I'm going in and my opponent wants to come at me, I do I throw out the nest preemptively. So that way it will hit the opponent as their attack is starting up because they're already moving into an active hitbox. So even though the range is kind of ugh, on this move, I'm still gonna hit them. I'm gonna hit them before they hit me. Because the hitbox is already out, they're already starting there. Okay? So there you go. Against sword characters, if you do this, you have to be really close, okay? Be really close and be really, um, you have to be preemptive. Don't be afraid to nair a sword character, like approach them with nair. Because, you know, they're, they have a sword, they have more range than you. Do not be afraid. If you're close enough and you're already in the, uh, in the action of doing this, anything that they do, you're most likely going to beat it, okay? Because, again, your hitbox is out. Their hitbox is just coming out. So they're gonna get hit. You can snuff out um, air approaches, ground approaches. You can snuff it out like that. If you are not that close, and you see what Greninja is, and I do a nair like this, and let's say that's a morph, and he tries to do a dash attack the same time I'm doing there, I'm most likely gonna get hit. He's gonna hit me because his dash attack has more range than this shit. Okay, so be careful when doing this. When you're at a certain distance, then. You can go for a nair, and when you get the nair, if it hits, it's good. If they shield it, it's good, okay? Because it's moving safe on shield. It's better than uh, than doing the dash attack, all right? Because at least you can keep the pressure. All right, so. Oh, excuse me, guys. All right, so yeah, there, there, there's that. Now then, uh, right, news again. So yeah, I like to have a turn in my hand. So let's say uh, they chase me, I already talked about tossing it. 
if they block my nair, right? Say they block the nair, block it, I still have a turn up, right? Um, I have a shield. I mean, they're on shield. Boom. I can catch it. If, that is, if it's at a certain percent where the knockback won't be that strong, when you toss a turn up, you could possibly go for a grab, all right? I said, I think in the last video, I said, like, dash attack, you kind of want to save this because it's a good move. It has um, a lot of range. It's good for punishing landings, chasing rolls. You say that, keep it fresh, and people got those habits, you can kill them at the percent that they're supposed to die with dash attack. If you use it too much, that the if you use it too much, the percent that they're supposed to die, they will not die because it's stale, all right? So try to keep that move as fresh as possible. The only exception to this is if you know your opponent's gonna roll or you're punishing a landing, and the only way you're gonna catch them in time before they can block or do anything else is with this move, then, yes, you dash attack, all right? Other than that, try to keep that move fresh. I know you guys see me in some of my videos, like I'll do this, so this, and I'm really not supposed to be doing that. I, I just do it just because, you know, whatever. But there's times when you see me in videos, like I'll I'll turn up, I'll recatch it, or I'll turn up and grab. Do that more, all right? Again, play to learn and play for consistency, right? Don't play to win. I don't care you fight with a cocky opponent, he feeling himself, and then he beats you, and then he wants to think, oh, you know, yup, I'm the shit, my character beats yours, yup, I'm feeling good about myself. Yo, you saw that? You saw that y'all say the replay too, man. I say the replay. I'll whip this dude's ass. Oh, don't don't worry about that. Lose. Lose. Alright? You're gonna get better by losing. Because the stuff that you're weak at, you're you're gonna you're gonna practice, you get better at it. And then when you do, you fight these type of people again, you whip their ass, and I bet you they won't be talking that hot shit. They're they're not. Alright? Because you're gonna be dishing out those L's back to back to the opponent tenfold. Alright? So, um, so yeah, the, the neutral. Now, one thing I want to mention, the way you play neutral, you can't play the exact same way. There is no perfect way to play neutral. Why? I'll tell you why. Let's say I go near the opponent, right? I go near the ninja. When I do a nair, he blocks. All right? So, I'll probably, like, toss a turn up at him and go for pressure. But then I fight another ninja. When I do a nair for shield, he rolls. So the same movement type pattern that I play neutral with one, I can't play with the other. It's all about adaptation. And that's another thing I want to get into. When you play neutral, you see how your opponent reacts to what you're doing, all right? When you see a certain pattern, you play based on it. Let's say I do this, I go in, I do this, that. The moment I run back, I know that the opponent will chase me. All right, so I do it a few more times. I do it like two, three times just to see. But every time I run back, I know she chases me. So when I see that, I'm like, okay. So when that situation comes up, I'll just do that. He's gonna run to my nail. Alright? Just an example right there. <clears throat> so yeah. Um I like doing this, having turned from my hand. Um nail is good. It's really good as an approach. It's nothing else stuff getting close to your opponent. If you think they're gonna come at you. Um to wall them out, instead of doing there, you can do bear. Bear is good. Bear has a bit more range than uh, Peach's Nair. So you can wall him out. Uh, another thing I like to do, this is probably like the more, like for this, what I'm about to tell you right now, you really have to have good control of your character um, and microspacing. Microspacing is basically, like you could be close to your opponent and there's no need for you to block because if they were to swing they would miss so if you know the range of your opponent's attack and the distance that you have to stand there's no need for you to block all right so you're dancing around your opponent's range so if you was to swing you don't have to block and then you can quickly get a punish that's my position but anyway this right here what i like to do is i like to have a turn to my hand there's somebody show hopping a lot at times i like to do it there and then land on top of it because it's pretty good because let's say i get like these hits off oh that wasn't a weak there but anyway it's still fine so let's say i get that right and they block it i can move out the way 
and catch them with a turnip. And if they don't block it, I just land on top of them. Okay? So I like to mix that up too. I don't do it too much, but at times, depending on how the opponent is playing, what I see, um, sometimes they're short hopping and your opponent has more range than you. They're covering range in front of them, but they're not covering their head. All right? So they short hop to full hop and land on top of their head. And you get a hit, and now you got control. If you don't get a hit and they block, let's say you did there, boom, they block, you got a turn up, boom. So that's good with a uh, with fraternity, and I, I like doing that a lot. So, yeah, so that's basically the neutral, okay? Like, I like turn up in your hand, space this, go in with that a few times, keep moving. Uh, every once in a while, a few space fares. Don't do this too often, though, because it's slow. But this is a good spacing because really they block they you um you land at the right time they can't punish you for that. But just be careful, okay? Because this move has slow start though. And that's that's really basically it, man. You just apply everything in terms of the frame chat combo that I made in the video. Um, it's really not that big of a deal. In well, that big a deal in terms of it being complex. So like you know, be hard to hit. Just keep moving. If you could grab a turn up, always grab one. Oh, one thing I need to mention. One, one important thing. I, I gotta mention this real quick. Now, remember when I said neutral is both of you guys are trying to uh, figure out how to get a hit. And you know, we're not really close enough to safely, guaranteed, get damage or start pressure. Even though we're at the distance where that applies, this is not neutral. Okay, I have the advantage. You know why? Cause I got all this space behind me, right? I got all this space behind me right here. If something goes wrong for Greninja, where the hell he gonna go? He ain't gonna go nowhere. So I can take more chances, okay? Cause stuff goes bad, I got all this space. I can take more chances, Greninja can. All right? If stuff goes bad, I need space, boom. I got all this space right here. If stuff goes bad for Greninja, he needs space. He doesn't have it. And it makes it easier for me to make him do something dumb, bait him, Call to offensive action, counter whatever he does, and then just kill him. Okay? So stage control is also important. Try to maintain center stage if you can. That's a tip that I, a tip I'll give you guys. Try to maintain center stage if you can. You can maintain center stage. Um, you can pretty much, it makes it easier for you to gain control of neutral, you know, not make it neutral anymore and then gain the advantage, all right? So don't always like run back. Try to stay close to your opponent and have good micro spacing. Know the range of your opponent. So if he does something, you can move out the way and then just come in. All right. So I think that was a pretty good uh, understanding of neutral because everything else from the other patch videos, just link it up to this and you should be okay. Because this is how you stop opponents that always want to attack you. Just, you know, keep moving. You think they're always going to attack you. You're going from there. Or space of bear, yada 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 yada. All right. Uh. Yeah, I think that's it. I was gonna talk about edge guarding, but I think I'm going to save that for another video. Yeah, I'm gonna save that for another video. This is basically uh the neutral. I think I'll, I'll make another video when it comes to edge guarding. Um, yeah, cause I want to use some clips for examples for that so I can show you. So, with that said, I hope this was under understanding for you guys. I hope this was useful. Um, you got a general idea of how you want to approach, how you want to gain damage. And remember, this is not neutral. Oops, this is not neutral, okay? Doing the... Why are you... Smash that. This is not neutral. Doing this, that's not neutral. This is not neutral. This is not neutral. This is not neutral. Okay? Everything I said before, this is neutral. All that stuff that you just saw right now is not neutral. So, thank you for watching. Um, any concerns, questions, all that stuff, you already know. Uh, Twitter, YouTube comments. Uh, my Discord. 
all that good stuff. Thanks for everybody for watching. Thanks for all my new subscribers that I gained through my recent videos. And thanks to my veteran subscribers. Liking, sharing the video, all that stuff. All you got together, freaking savages. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Until next time. Deuces.